Hi, my name's Tom, welcome to Quick Leaks Weekly, and in this video I'll be talking about a Joe Satriani blues lick that I'm very fond of. So, this isn't necessarily strictly a lick, it's almost a technique, um, really. It's something I saw Joe doing in the uh, G3 with Eric Johnson, which I think is the 96 one, I brought it on VHS. He does this wonderful thing where he sort of gets a, a harmonica style lick on the guitar. And the way he does this is he's got a, a lot of distortion and, and maybe even a little bit of fuzz thrown into the mix. He's using his neck pickup and he's got quite a nasal sound, so to get that I've got a fair amount of distortion on, but I'm actually going to roll my tone control about halfway, uh, probably a bit after halfway actually, um, just to get a bit more of a nasal <laughs> sound. And what Joe does is um, he'll slide one note into position, and while that note's ringing out, again, this only works with lots of distortion, he'll use his finger to pluck the string below, uh, which is going to be a minor third interval, and he'll pluck and choke that note repeatedly. So it'll be with his finger, and he'll have, he'll have already picked the string below. So I'll play you exactly what I hear him doing. I'll talk about the fingering in a minute because I'm in a slightly different tuning, but it works perfectly in standard. So this is the the sound that we're going for. And the thing that makes this really cool is if you've got the right settings, I haven't particularly got my uh, amp set up tuned right for, for this sound, but if you have got a lot of fuzz and a lot of really dirty distortion and you've rolled off that tone control, because we're choking this note, and obviously both these notes are going through the one jack lead and going through the one amp, so they're fighting for our attention. Because we're choking this note, and it's not being choked with a pick, where the sound doesn't really end, we still get squeaks and buzzers. When we choke it with a finger, it deadens the sound. Because we've got that starting and stopping, and it's and the our ears are hearing this one and then this note, rather than... It almost sounds as if we're going, which we're not, we're just holding that note below. And if we get the amp settings right, or the guitar settings right, and it allows us to get a really rapid, sort of bluesy sound. So if you're in standard tuning, it's the you would want um, to slide up to the ninth fret on the G and then be hitting the 8th fret on the B. In my case I've got, I've not got a B string, I've got a C string, so I'm sliding up to the uh, ninth fret and I'm hitting the 7th uh, fret on my C string. So I'll just play it, play it you slowly what I'm talking about and roll off the distortion. So sliding up to the note on the G and then plucking it on the string below with our finger and choking. So really slowly. We don't want to go, we need to get that choke to get the our ear to recognise the two different notes. Now if I crank up the distortion. So try and have some fun with this in your playing. Um, if you get the amp sounds just right and you've got the sort of appropriate pickups for the situation, then you can really get that Joe Satriani harmonica sound on your guitar, which is a lot of fun really. I really enjoy messing around with this lick when I'm in a blues situation. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then please rate and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you soon.